there is no any essence, there is no any stable ground in the notion of community. Uh, the community is community precisely because there is nothing in common. You know, like, and maybe this... Uh, theoretical arguments about uh, our ways, how we can understand the notion community can apply, for example, at European Union up to one point, you know, because uh, the recent votes, the recent referendum in the uh, United Kingdom, Kingdom shows actually this uncalculating moment in every community, you know, like, because we tend to understand communities as stable, as something that shares certain uh, ideas, values, etc. Et which this is not the logic of uh, how should we understand the political communities. Political communities are always open, uh, uh, open in terms that there is certain risk of changing them within their own logic. You know, like so, in one day with one referendum, we don't have European Union anymore in the way that we understood it. And I think this is a very good example uh, in the ways how we can understand and critically think about the idea of political communities today. We, as uh, European political subjects, if I can say so, are actually basically conservative in our ways how do we imagine, conceive, and critically think about our political beings, you know, like, and I think one of the most important things in this conservatism, as I called it, it's this idea of uh, nation and uh, nation states, you know, like, that uh, it's unthinkable, actually, for us to go beyond and to imagine political communities uh, without having this very uh, uh, nation-based logic that it's inscribed in it. Part of this critical understanding of the notion of politics and political, uh, uh, I would say it's the way how we can uh, think the notion of unthinkable today. Because uh, in our world, in the world that we li live in, which is uh, ideologically strongly based in neoliberal and capitalist ideas, you know, like almost everything appears as thinkable. So revisiting, re-questioning the notion of unthinkable, it's actually a uh, demand for everyone who is uh, today concerned with uh, contemporary politics to invent new political imaginaries. Because it appears that in the world that we live in, everything is thinkable except possibility of change. That everything is thinkable uh, except the way that we can imagine different social formations that are not based on power relations or social hierarchies.